Hey everybody, Dr. Diem, Dr. Diem here on another Eye Care Today and we are so excited because we've been on a journey uh, with all of the new eye care providers, new doctors that we have here uh, at our office, in our family and today we're very excited to introduce and invite uh, Dr. Alexis Wylam on the uh, show and uh, we'll learn all about her from beginning to end, all the wonderful uh, things that she has to offer you and your family. Don't forget, we're here in Hazleton on the airport beltway at the Big Eyeball. I always say, don't forget we're at the Big Eyeball. Uh, lovely location, large waiting area, large optical, uh, and tons of availability for you and your family of all ages. Children on up, all eye care needs from macular degeneration, glaucoma, diabetic eye health, diabetic retinopathy, um, cataract evaluations, uh, laser or intra, intraocular injections evaluations, and ultimately uh, we do those here as well. So any eye care needs that you may have, uh, we take care of them here at our Hazleton Eye Care uh, facility at the Big Eyeball. Uh, so give us a call. We're also in Tannersville, uh, Stroudsburg Eye Specialist. Uh, also a really very similar office to Hazleton, uh, taking care of your, all of your eye care needs. Uh, Dr. Bellinger, Dr. Olzinski, uh, as well as our retina specialist and cataract surgeon. See patients in our office in Tannersville, so I always say, Go to the outlets, spend some money, stimulate the economy, economy and uh, get an eye exam at the same time. Check out our eye care selection, eye care, um, eyewear selection there, and uh, uh, go to go check out the Poconos. Uh, we're also in Pottsville, uh, in Pali, Palo Alto, beautiful location, one of our newer offices. Uh, it was a totally redone office. The office was once actually an OBGYN's office. We totally redid the office. It is absolutely gorgeous. You walk in, you just know you can still smell the new there. Uh, it doesn't smell uh, like kielbasa, like you would think maybe, uh, you know, near, being in the skook uh, wood, but um, we do like kielbasa, but it doesn't smell like kielbasa there. We a uh, beautiful new location and uh, we have um, uh, Dr. Akira Saran, Dr. Brendan Connors, and uh, now uh, Dr. Courtney McCall seeing patients there, as well as Dr. Patel, our retina specialist that was in Hazleton. Uh, Dr. Patel is now going to be seeing patients in our Pottsville location, so we can make you an appointment to see Dr. Patel for retinal injections, laser, um, in our uh, Pottsville location. Newest location is Nanny Coke. Nanny Coke, yes, Nanny Coke, sometimes referred to as the redheaded stepchild of the Wyoming Valley. I just came up with that. I don't know if that's fair, uh, but people forget about it. It's part of the Wyoming Valley. It's a beautiful little town, great people, and really that's a great way to segue into Dr. Wylam uh, here, uh, Dr. Alexis Wylam, because she is from that area, actually. I am. I am. I'm, I grew up uh, not even 10 minutes away in Hanover Township. So Fantastic. yeah, right there. So grew, grew up, born and raised in Hanover Township, which I think a lot of people, you know, from this area, at least the Hazleton area, but maybe up in the Wyoming area know about. But tell me about Hanover area. What is, where is that? Is that where they make the pretzels? Yeah, no, <laughs> uh, that's actually by York. Uh, this Hanover Township is um, in between Wilkes-Barre and Nanny Coke. So if you go from Wilkes-Barre and you want to drive to Nanny Coke, you have to drive through Hanover Township. Quiet. Yeah. Nice little area. Yep. Yep. Quiet, nice residential. There's a school there, right? Is there a high school there? Yep. Hanover yep. area? Hanover area high school. Yep. There's a, a couple different schools. I actually went to kindergarten there before um, I started at the Catholic school system down Wonderful. in the Wyoming Valley. Wonderful. So. What was that called there? The Catholic school? Yes. I went to St. Nick, St. Mary's, and yep. then Holy Redeemer. Holy Redeemer. Fantastic. Yep. yep. Wonderful educational background there, and certainly, you know, um, a great way to start. So at that time, you know, you're going through high school, you're growing up in Hanover area. Um, did you know at that time, Did you were you bit by the eye doctor bug at some point in time? Or Yeah, I actually think that this is this is a twofold thing. So okay. um, I got my first pair of glasses in third grade. Okay. Um, I actually failed a phonics test. Interesting. Um, and my mom could not figure out why. Because clearly you can't speak. Clearly cannot speak at all. Um, <laughs> she loves and... to talk. And I <laughs> yeah. love 
love it. listening to her. Love to talk. Uh -huh. I tell my patients that all the time. It's love my it. favorite thing to do is talk. I hope you're ready to listen. I love it. Um, but I failed this test and my mom was like, what is going on? So she took me to the eye doctor and I got my first pair of glasses. Suddenly my grades just turned around. Um, it was the first doctor that I really felt comfortable with. I wasn't like getting poked and sticked with needles. Um, it was, it was a really great experience. Yeah. And then in fifth grade, uh, one of our classmates' parents came in. Uh, people in the Nanny Coke area would know Dr. Adam Coffey. Uh. Uh, her, his wife actually came in yeah. to talk to our class about eyeballs oh my God. for science. It's unbelievable. And I was enamored. Yeah. It was the best thing I had ever heard in my life. Shout out to the coffees. Exactly. Great Shout people. out to the coffees. Um, and ever since, I, it was what I wanted to do. I was obsessed with it. And here I am. Wow. Wow. I get tingles because it's just, you know, I've had the privilege of doing that now a couple times, going out to schools and doing the, you know, just to think, you know, that, that one of those kids might have gotten that uh, from, from me or, you know, the way that that happened to you. Certainly it's why we do those things, uh, but to think it all comes to fruition here. So that's amazing. Wonderful. So you got the bug. You thought it was awesome. You had a great experience yourself. Um, mentors that were walking the walk, enjoying life, doing great things for people. What was the next step? Um, the next step was getting through high school. Okay. Yeah. Um, and yeah. then I went to King's College. I majored in chemistry with a minor in math okay. uh, and then optometry school. So then it was the process of finding where Did I Did you know that go. in, in uh, college? I mean, you mentioned this was something you really liked. To, was that the goal? You were going to go to optometry school? The, that was the goal from yeah. like fifth grade. It was. Wow. It was the goal. I, I love have, that. Yes. Mindset. No, no other questions. Yeah. Just head, head down and keep going. Good. Um, yeah, so then optometry school, we, I applied to a couple different schools and we, I really loved PCO. I loved the Philadelphia area. Uh, the commute from home to there was just so easy for right. holidays uh, and it was world-class faculty. Absolutely. Yep, so you can't, you can't beat it. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. So you were privileged enough to, in honor to get into school. You went to school and uh, tell me about the process at school. You, you, um, you ultimately uh, found a passion there that we're going to talk a little bit yeah. more about. But. So, so you get four years, right? Three years, two and a half didactic. So that's classroom work. Uh, during that time, you study things like glaucoma, macular degeneration, how systemic things like diabetes and high blood pressure can affect the eye and change your vision. Uh, it, simpler things like cataracts, you know, and how do we diagnose and, and refer for those, um, and then corneal conditions. Um, so we spend all of this time looking at all of these different areas, and uh, it, it's just, it's so cool to think of how what's happening in the rest of your body can affect your vision. Um, and, and what we can do to, to help that with it's not just classes. really a but. whirlwind uh, experience, but certainly uh, a good one and opportunity to figure out what you want to do. And so on the other uh, side of this break, we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, uh, Dr. Wylam's passions and all the things she can help you with. Hey everybody, Dr. Diem here on another Eye Care Today. We're here in Hazel Township at Hazelton Eye Specialist, our flagship location. And uh, we just wanna let you know and remind you uh, that we are accepting new patients. We'd love to welcome you and your family uh, from birth on up uh, to our eye care family. There are ways that we can evaluate your vision, uh, your eye health, uh, with no feedback from you. So people often ask me, how do you evaluate a kid, a baby, an infant, somebody who doesn't speak? We have ways, we have mysterious, magical eye doctor ways, and uh, it's important, it really is. And uh, you know, it sets you up for a lifetime of healthy vision. So we're in Hazleton, we're in Pottsville, we're in Nanticoke, and Tannersville, uh, our Stroudsburg Eye Care location. So give one of our offices a call, see one of our world-class eye doctors at any of our four locations. And speaking of world-class eye doctors, I have uh, Dr. Wylam here today, one of our newest eye doctors, coming to you from Hanover, Hanover Township. Uh, and and uh, I love it. I love the fact that we are um, seeing uh, people from the community stay in the community bringing their expertise, their knowledge, and their passion. So you went through optometry school, 
Tell us about your clinical experience. So, um, you know, in optometry school, you do a clinical part of that. So where were you for those? Yeah, so um, it, for the, I was in the traditional program. Uh -huh. So the traditional program is four years. Our last year starts uh, after boards where we start take, doing our clinical rotations. My first rotation was actually at Fort Bragg um, in North Carolina. I think it's Fort Liberty now. I think they changed the name. Um, I did two and a half months there working with active duty soldiers. Um, they fit scleral contact lenses. We did some emergency eye care. Uh, then I went to our school clinic and I really honed in some of the specialty contact lenses, sclerals, gas Hold on a second. Oh. What are specialty contact? Specialty contact what lenses. What do you mean? Oh my gosh. Is um, that like it's on special? It's like uh, the supermarket and there's, a, there's like the meat, the regular meat and there's yes. meat that's on special? No. <laughs> Well, it's different? <laughs> yes, it's different. Okay. It's different. Uh, specialty contact lenses, um, named a couple of them, scleral contact lenses, gas permeable contact lenses, um, hybrids, uh, specialty soft. So if you have a corneal condition, something like maybe... What is the cornea, first of all? Tell me what a cornea question. is. It's a great question. Yes. The cornea is the front window of your of your eyeball. So we have a picture right here that shows the, the cornea. The cornea. Right? And so what does the cornea do? The, What's its purpose? The cornea is one of the greatest refracting powers of the eye. It's where all of the light needs to go into to be able to focus on your retina to okay. provide you good clear vision. Would you be able to give the patients, uh, the, the folks out there an analogy? What would that be like? You know, how could they, is there something like maybe in a camera or something like that that would be analogous to the cornea? Yeah, you could think of it as the, the front lens, the, the, lens. the removable okay. lens to right. the camera. All right, good. good. Yep. Um, and, you know, some, for some people, that cornea can be messed up in some way. Messed up? Messed up. Got a messed up cornea? <laughs> could, some doesn't people sound do. good. It doesn't. So an irregular cornea. Okay. Um, or maybe a cornea that's regular with really high astigmatism. Uh uh oh. I know, it's a big Another word. 10 cent word. I know, astigmatism. I know. This is a common one, right? We it talk is. to patients about this all the time. So we have some pictures now of, you know, a normal shaped eye and astigmatism eye. And so what is that? What, how do you explain that? So they could see what it looks like. What does that mean? I think a lot of people get really worried about the word astigmatism. Yes. Um, but it's really no different than being nearsighted or farsighted. Okay. I like to think of it like the light isn't focused on exactly one point. Okay. Think of it like um, when you were a kid playing in the summer or in the fall, mm -hmm. and you try to set a leaf on fire. Oh my gosh! I know. I, I was not a pyromaniac I, when I was a kid, so I, I was. Apparently, I didn't do that. I'm just kidding. Um, I did. But you know, everybody <laughs> has it. a little bit of fun with some kid I glasses. Yep. To set that leaf on fire, uh, that light has to be focused on one point. hundred percent. If Got that it. light isn't focused on one point, that's astigmatism. Got it. No leaves were harmed in the filming of this show, <laughs> no. and we do not encourage you to light anything on fire. Okay, that's the disclaimer. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so anyway, the, uh, so, but that's a great analogy. And I think that's important. You know, we got to be able to communicate the things that we've taken years to learn, physics, you know, basic science to, to everyone and in a way that they can understand. So you can tell she's good at that. So get in here and, and see her. Um, so, okay, so we can have differences in the shape of the eye. So how does that come back to contact lenses? Yeah, so if you have an irregularity on that front window, on that lens, on that cornea, um, it, the light doesn't focus through it the right way. Okay. It gets bent or uh, moved in a way that causes blurry vision. Okay. And that blurry vision can't be fixed with traditional glasses or regular soft contact lenses. So what we do is we put these specialty contact lenses on the front surface of the eye and provide a regular, clear refracting surface or a surface for the light to go through mm -hmm. to provide you with a clearer vision than you might get in traditional glasses and contact lenses. Wonderful. So, sounds expensive. <laughs> sounds, Could be. Sounds uh, complicated, but can you just, you know, let's talk about, let's, I, I know this is a, a topical one and I guess if you're out there in the world, you are looking for something like this, um, you know, uh, this is probably one that you'll run across, and that's scleral contact lenses. Mm -hmm. So would you be able to give me a little bit of a rundown on, first, what is a scleral lens? And um, what's the process look like to being 
fit with a scleral lens? Yeah, so a scleral contact lens is a large gas permeable lens. So you think of those button lenses that people wore in, I believe, the 70s. Way back in the day. Way back in the day. Before her time <laughs> and mine. <laughs> Um, but they're a larger form of that that rests on the white part of your eye called your sclera. And it vaults over, gives a space in between the contact lens and the cornea. And it's filled with a sa preservative free saline solution. Um, so it's a large diameter lens that doesn't touch that front part of the eye. So we have a picture of that right now, give you an idea what, what uh, Dr. Wylam's talking about. And so, it sounds like it may be more difficult or more uncomfortable though. It's actually more comfortable than those little button lenses. So the cornea, that front window, has a lot of little nerve endings. Uh, the sclera, on the other hand, it, it rests on that area and is much, much more comfortable. When fit the right way, you, you shouldn't really know you even have it on. Um, so we take a look at the shape of the front part of your eye and pick a lens that fits you. Um, it's custom fit to you to make sure that you can wear it for a full day and have comfort um, and have clear vision. So. Awesome. Fantastic. And, you know, I think there's at least a handful of conditions that I would want to just mention to, to patients so that they know, um, you know, this is something you specialize in and, and not a lot of other people have that expertise. So what are some conditions maybe patients have heard of, maybe not, uh, that, that uh, may be reasons why a scleral lens would be appropriate? I think the, the I'll call them maybe the big three. Okay. Uh, keratoconus or other corneal ectasias, so that irregular cornea we were talking about before. Um, the other one would be post-LASIK, which is another type of ectasia. So that LASIK caused something to happen on the front part of your eye where it's irregular. And dry eye is another very big one because of that preservative-free saline that bathes that cornea all day and, and provides it extra comfort. Love it. Fantastic. So if you have any one of those conditions or, you know, just had difficulty uh, with your contact lens experience from your current eye care provider, just can't get a good fit or not seeing well or uncomfortable, Dr. Wylam is your doctor. So give us a call. We're here for you. We want to get you in and uh, invite you to be part of our eye care family. Stay tuned. We have the last segment of this eye care today. Hey everybody, Dr. Diem here with another Eye Care Today, and we are very excited to have Dr. Alexis Wylam on the show, one of our newest uh, eye care providers, doctors of optometry, and uh, specialty contact lens extraordinaires here uh, at, at our office in Hazleton, but also in Nanny Coke. So we wanna take a moment to really talk about our Nanny Coke location. We're also in Pottsville, we're also in Tannersville. Don't forget all of our locations but uh, let's take a minute and talk about Nanny Coke. Uh, we're excited to be there, a wonderful location. And uh, Dr. Wylam is there every Thursday, uh, you know, a full day in Nanny Coke. And uh, tell us a little bit about the office. Yeah, so when I'm there on Thursdays, I'm actually there later than I think a lot of other days mm -hmm. as well. Um, I'm there from 10 until around 6 o'clock. Beautiful. Um, that location is located on the Patriot Square. Uh, which, which is, is like the place, it's the place. in Manico. <laughs> right? Yeah. It is beautiful. It there. is. They do a lot. There's actually, my cousin runs a book swap oh. um, right, on the, right on the square. Yeah. So if you go right up Prospect Street, it's right across from our office. She has um, all kinds of books in there that you can take. It's like take a, t leave a book, take a book. Love that. Um, yeah. So she always has Take a book, leave a there. book, get an eye exam. Should exactly. Be the... <laughs> I love it. Yeah. Uh, very good. Okay. So right on Patriot Square. Um, and tell us about the actual location. I know we have some video that we could probably show while you're yeah, talking so about that, it. Yeah, so that location is in a building uh, that's been in Nanny Coke for a really long time. It's called the Victoria Building. Yeah. Um, it, it's interesting because I know my aunt, my great aunt, used to pay her bills at the pharmacy, which was located right next door. Right. There was a, a hardware store on the other side of our location. Um, it's just a really neat building Absolutely. with a lot of history. It's got good bones, It's that got building. great bones. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, I think at one point in time, 
you know, you went to the town square to do all your things, everything you did. You went to go to the hardware store, you got your pharmacy, you went to see your doctor, you got your milk and eggs, you did everything at the town square. And, and at one point in time, certainly that was the case, I'm sure, in, in the square in Nanny Coke. And so while, you know, I, I think it is a little different than what you see today, you see a lot of um, uh, commoditization, you see a lot of online uh, stuff, sales, um, and in healthcare, you see a lot of integration, for better or for worse. And so, you know, we're very proud to be locally owned, you know, uh, locally operated. We're not part of any, not that we don't play nice, we play very nice with healthcare systems. We're not part of any healthcare system. You're seeing a lot of mergers, acquisitions, buyouts, people getting, you know, cut from their um, positions, services being cut. Um, you know, we're, we're kind of uh, different in that way. I that, think that's you know, what's so beautiful about Hometown care. You know, that office was always a private practice. Um, Dr. Evans, it was, his, it was his practice for a long time and people um, loved him and we, we loved him. Absolutely. And being able to carry on his legacy from that location, I think is, is just incredible. It's huge. And, and uh, you know, you are and have done um, some, some really great little episodes of the Eye on the Wyoming Valley. I know one of the things, if you haven't seen that, check it out. It's all over our social media channels. But uh, one of those was uh, the R-Bar. The R bar. Right. So if you're not from the Nanny Coke area, maybe you don't know, but tell us a little bit about your connections to the the business world in that region. Yeah, so I have I have strong family in the Nanny Coke area. Um, my mom's side, Tamarant's family, owns the R bar and also an auto shop on the Alden Road. R bar is just this really great Maybe I'm a little biased, but I don't I think, think it's I really am. great. <laughs> it's, it's, okay. a, it's a really wonderful restaurant and bar. Yeah. The drinks are amazing. The chicken wings and the cheesesteaks are amazing. Uh, if you want, if you need a good meal, that's that's the place. I hear chicken to wings, cheesesteak, a shot, and a beer are good for macular degeneration. That's <laughs> that's what I've heard. Actually, that's not true. Couldn't be further from the truth. <laughs> but anyway, um, you know, there was a famous Hazeltonian that said a shot and a beer. So I won't, you know, say who it was. But um, you know that. That was a, a funny little statement. But anyway, you know, uh, Dr. Wylam, you know, you're here, you're available, um, you're in Hazleton, you're in Nanny Coke. Um, you know, you mentioned some of these eye care conditions that you're passionate about. Um, one other little unique thing that we offer um, is something called iPrint uh, technology, which is, you know, you're one of the very few people in the area that do scleral lenses, specialty contact lenses, keratoconic care, abnormal corneal care. Um, this is a whole other level. So can you tell us a little bit about iPrint and what that is and, you know, the, the fact that you are uh, someone who offers that? Yeah, I, iPrint is really interesting because it off while scleral lenses themselves are already a very special T lens, um, very individualized, this iPrint takes a mold of your eyeball um, and we can literally take your eye and send it to a lab and they make a lens that is for you and only you. We don't take your eye and send no, it to the lab. The, the print I'm of your kidding. eye. The print I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I had to say it because it was just, <laughs> I know some people were thinking about it. I'm just like, I got to say it. You no, have I'm to. No. no. Oh no, my no, gosh. No, no but definitely. That's, it's amazing. So how do you do, you take how do, how do you do that? Do you take the eye out? You put it, like, no, seriously, how do you do it? Ser seriously, so there's a... Um, we'll show some pictures while you're describing it. There's a mold yeah. that you take, almost like we, if you were to be taking an impression of your teeth. Right. Um, we numb your eye and we insert... It almost like you would insert your lens. And your, it's not painful, lens. right? It's no, easy. No, we, it's all numb. 15 minutes. Yep. Sit there for a couple of minutes. Try to remain as still as possible. Yep. And we get a form mold of your eye, similar to like you would at the dentist with your teeth. Yeah. So this is something that, you know, you would probably think that you would need to go to New York City or Philadelphia um, to do. And, uh, you know, we've taken the steps to become certified uh, in this technique um, here in Hazel. Hazleton, Stroudsburg, uh, um, Pottsville, as well as Nanny Coke. Dr. Wylam, you know, is one of the only providers, you know, in our group, uh, but definitely in the area that, that provides this. And so, you know, if you have not been able to get fit with a lens, um, 
this may be the next step for you. And, uh, you know, it's something we could discuss. You don't have to do it. You could call and say, hey, I heard about this. I need to, need to have a consultation with Dr. Wylam. One other little thing I think that people think about a lot is you turn 40, and all of a sudden, you know, you've been wearing contacts your whole life, and now you can't see up close with your contacts. Yeah. So what are some solutions that people have, being a contact lens expert, that you, you provide for patients? Yeah, I, I go through this conversation a couple of times a week. Um, when you, it, it's a magic number, magic age 40. Yes. Um, there are multifocal contact lenses out there, not, and they're not all... Um, hard lenses. They're not all gas permeable lenses. Uh, there are soft contact lenses in the brands that you know and love that provide this help up close. You know, I hear, you know, commercials and people saying, you know, we have this, we have that. This is a doctor who has dedicated time, effort, energy, expertise, research into specialty contact lenses and regular contact lenses, getting people fit in contact lenses who couldn't do that. And part of that's really being, you know, very uh, knowledgeable and uh, comfortable with uh, restoring the tear film and helping people with dry eye. But part, the other part of it is just really being good with the materials and the fitting process, the patients, and uh, she gets an A plus for all of those things. And so, um, Thank you, Dr. Wylam. Thank we you. can't be more grateful that you are part of our eye care family in the Northeast, part of the fabric of this community from the beginning and still is, and we just couldn't be more grateful that you're here. And we are inviting you to give her a call and get an appointment with her uh, in Hazleton or in our brand new Nanny, Nanny Coke location. Thank you for watching another eye care today. We'll see you real soon.